Does any people out there understand when I speak on poor white people? Honestly. Do you understand when I speak about poor white people? Do you always expect somebody white to have something? You ever thought about that? You ever thought about those who you have been taught to believe your entire life are superior? What about those of the so-called superior ones that don't even cut the mustard to their own? Hmm? You ever thought about how poor white people are treated? You know? I hate flies. You ever thought about that? You ever thought about that homeless man that you walk past? Or that lady? Why did lady and her kids live in a car? You ever thought about people who have less than you? That some have been led to believe they deserve more than you? And you still have more than them? You ever thought about how that makes a group of poor white people feel? To see black people bicker over mediocre shit like, uh, look how she dressed. Look at that hairdo. You, you do not even begin to grasp the situations that we are in. The shit we are facing is pitiful. You ever thought about what a white person would do if a white person lived in your shoes? Hmm? You ever thought about that? You ever thought about what you would do if you had all that a rich white person has? How would you treat white people if you had money like all the rich white people that, that you've seen? Would you treat people in the same manner you was treated if the, re the roles were reversed? If the average black person was well off, think about it. The average white person is not well off. Now, the conversation I'm having right now only applies to those who physically deal with white people every day. This conversation only applies to those who actually know some white people. This conversation only applies to those who can actually pick up a phone and call somebody white. I've said a lot of things on YouTube. I've done a lot of things on YouTube. How would you treat white people if you lived like you believe they are living? How would you interact with a white person that you can clearly see has less than you and their job is to make sure you're satisfied in a certain way, shape, or form. Hmm? Would you perpetuate the stereotypes that you've heard about white people? What would you do? Hmm? What are you doing, Doug? Doug, you boy. Doug, you boy. You, 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 no, 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 no. You cannot stand up there. You can't even get nowhere near the table. Right now, you're in violation of everything that is so-called black and ethical. Actually, I'm a black man. I shouldn't even be holding this dog. Technically, this dog should not even be in the inside of the house. Third of all, the dog should not be able to jump on any of the furniture anywhere near the house. Based on typical black rules, that this dog right here should not be this close to my face. See, there's a stereotype when I used to, when I used to grow up. When I used to grow up, they said white people smelled like wet dogs. When you get a white person wet, they smell like wet dogs. Whenever I think of that statement, all I can see is white people hitting black people with water hoses and unleashing the dogs. But hey, that's not the question I'm asking. How do you treat white people 
if you lived like you believe they live. See, a lot of people in this country has never ever seen a poor white person. But they step by homeless people of all different colors. A lot of people in this country don't believe there's such thing as a white person in need. So you say, why are you talking about white people and why do you give a fuck whether a poor white person can make it or not? And then I will tell you like I told you a million times. Poor people Poor people don't see black and white. Now, there's two different kinds of poor people. When I grew up, I grew up in the projects, and there were white people in the projects. There's black people in the projects, too. And then when I got to a certain age, I moved to, a quote me if you want to, a black town. And I moved to the black projects. There was no white people in the black projects, not a one. And then in that same town, you know, not too far from where I grew up, from that same town, the outskirting hillside, the cleanest neighborhoods. See, whites lived in the hills, the blacks lived down in the valleys. And then uh, an old black man told me a long time ago, if it flood, we all dead, well, they all in trouble. What would you do if a poor white person asked you for help and you had the power to help the white person completely? What would you do? Would you show that person the respect and try to help that person out the best you can? Or would you think about something negative that some white person had done to you and hold it against that white person needing you? As if you're going to get some vindication and some... Uh, Ha <laughs> I'm finally breaking even after all these years on the next person. What would you do? Hmm? I got so much stuff to do around here. I found a glitch on YouTube. I'm going to turn it in. I've, I've been bad today, so I'm going to... Go ahead and tell YouTube about this glitch. I'm pretty sure they already know about it. But um, my dog is whining. I just want to give you, you folks, something to think of out there. You know, because I know a lot of poor people, and they're white, they're black, they're Mexican, they're Asian, they're sh Chinese. They're Jewish. They're immigrants. They're of Africa, from Kenya. I mean, well, from different places in Africa. I mean, I know Iranians. I know people of all nationalities all around this whole entire ball that we call Earth. I know them rich, and I know them poor. And I know one thing about poor people, a true person, a true humble man of the earth, the soil, a true, a true human being with nothing to live for, to no reason to, to even breathe, a true human being, starving, hungry, thirsty, will give up his only bottle of water and his only sandwich for the next person to survive one more minute. That's what a true American does. And it don't matter what color you are, who you are, what your religious background. A real American don't have no color. So what would you do? If a poor black person came to you they just ask you for a little some, a little help, anything. I don't matter. It don't matter what you sign, what you up, but drink off your soul. I don't got anything. What would you do? Hmm? What would you do?